You're losing money on jobs if you're not taking these costs into consideration. And in today's video, we're going to go through what they are and how to inform your customer on the front end of upcharges associated with them. So that way you're not losing money on every single job you go on. Since we've implemented this into our business, we've saved time, we've saved money, and we've been able to mitigate a lot of liability for ourselves and for our company. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. So this will probably seem like something small and nitpicky to people who are just getting started, but the compound effect of it over time is what ultimately cost your business and that is making sure that the customer prepares the property for the service that you're providing prior to your arrival so for example a big time waster with them pressure washing is moving furniture and other belongings off of patios we've made this mistake a lot early on in our business and that is not informing the customer that they need to have everything moved prior to us arriving to perform the job and the result is is that we end up doing it which could take 15 minutes to move everything off 15 minutes to put everything back on and then of course you have to remember where everything went and in the event that anything gets damaged in that moving process you are now held liable for it so as you can see not only is there time being wasted by us moving furniture our company is also incurring more liability as a result of having to move it so in order to combat this we make sure before every appointment that we inform the customer that all of their belongings should be moved prior to our arrival and if not they'll incur a hundred dollar moving fee you can also add this type of verbiage into your terms and conditions or if you wanted to automate this within your business you could set up email and text automation that is time to deliver before the day of service and this is something that that we've recently added into quote IQ exactly for that reason. Now these time wasters could really be anything in lawn care for example it may be children's toys in the yard or dog poop and for something like mobile detailing it could be customers belongings in the car getting in the way of the detailing process. The biggest thing is is that you look for these time wasters and treat them accordingly by informing the customer of your expectations and then letting them know in the event they don't uphold their end there will be a fee to pay and we've noticed since implementing this that 90% of customers move everything and we don't have any issues the hardest part for you may be implementing implementing this on the first few cleanings. You need to figure out exactly what verbiage you want to use whenever you're explaining it to them and then timing on when you want to tell them. I like to send it the day before the cleaning and just put it in terms of we've had people take advantage of us moving belongings in the past. So we've had to implement this policy in order to protect against that.